Welcome, friends, back to the Hobby Barn Basement. And I have recently acquired this, the Skymaster ARF Plus F14 Tomcat from a good friend who um, unfortunately will not be able to complete his build. So with that, I wanted to give everybody a quick overview of what I have acquired and it is in about a 50% completion phase. Uh, I'm planning on doing some updates as this is finished. Uh, this will be an EDF conversion as it has already been started and I am planning on completing it. Uh, just a real quick look at the cockpit and the detailing, which is magnificent. Um, there will be very little work that's gonna need to be done here aside from some pilots. I'm super excited about that. Uh, here's a quick look up the tailpipe there. Got a little bit of wiring ready to go already. Uh, this plane is probably 50% complete in its current stage. Uh, there is no way for me to tell you how big this plane is. Uh, for those of you who subscribed and watched, you've seen my OV-10 build. That plane is exactly 9 feet uh, by nine feet when it is complete. This is just shy of that at 104 inch wingspan. The fuselage <clears throat> from front to back, from the front of the intake to the rear of the plane, back at the uh, hook and where the fuel dump is, is six feet. It just fits in the back of my pickup truck without the nose attached. Uh, as you can see, I've got the hatch up on one side to give you a look at the sweep mechanism just all carbon fiber. It's gorgeous. Uh, this plane was set up uh, without the hydraulic gear doors. This was done with servos, which you can see there's one right there. Um, also, it was set up with a Schubler's technology, uh, DS-98, um, 128 millimeter fan with um, the HV-205 uh, ESC set up on a 14S. Uh, this particular model was done with the Taileron only. Uh, I may or may not change that. I have not decided. Uh, future videos <clears throat> will get a better look at the stabs uh, and the wings as I progress. The air system for the landing gear has not been installed yet. The electronics are going to have to be looked at. I'm going to have to hook that up and see where I'm worked. I have a nice diagram that was left for me to work on. Uh, and to work from. Uh, this will be a Spectrum setup as that's what it was originally intended for and that's what I have. Uh, 12 channel. Beautiful wire bundling was done. I, I have to give credit where it was due. The work that's already been completed was exceptional. So it will cut down significantly what I need to do. Uh, you could see that there was carbon fiber duct work done uh, on the inside and shoring uh, here's a look down the intake pipe at that beautiful Schubler fan. Um, I know they run. I've seen the test run on them. They are fantastic. So, folks, with that, that is just a very brief look at the Skymaster F14. Uh, this baby, just dimensionally, it's 100 inches long, which is eight and just a little over eight and a half feet. And wingspan just comes in just over eight and a half feet at 104 inches. So we'll, uh, we'll have a lot of fun building this as I make progress and changes. Uh, I will keep you updated with uh, videos. Uh, right now, uh, the, it does not have a functional air brake, although it would take very little to add one. And one little side note, I took weights on all of the parts and for anybody who's curious right now as to how heavy this plane is, I don't know dry weight without the fans and ESCs and the landing gear in it. But I can tell you, as it sits right now, the fuselage with all of the gear in it, as it sits, is exactly 30 pounds. I was shocked by this. The nose section with the landing gear in it uh, and the two receiver batteries as it sits right now is exactly 5 pounds. Uh, the wings and the stabs uh, all weighed out, uh, came in at just over 5 pounds. So we're looking right now, folks, at a 40-pound model. I was shocked. 
Uh, two sets of 14S batteries with, with what I have set. They came in at a little over six. So based on the Schubler estimates for this plane for thrust with the 80% FSA that's built into it, we're looking at roughly 22-ish pounds a side, uh, which comes in at roughly a one-to-one -one power to weight ratio. I'll have to do some testing on that when I get a little further down the road. Uh, but we're looking at a, a 45 to 47 pound model all up weight when it's complete um, with a 44 to a 46 pound thrust. Uh, so if, if we even get anywhere close to that, uh, even at a 90 percent thrust to weight ratio uh, or a two to one, uh, it would be fantastic. I, I would be thrilled with a 90 percent. Uh, and close, even even an eighty percent would fly the pants off this thing for an EDF. Uh, I have some graphene batteries to use uh, that are nine thousands. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a few more. I'm gonna have to make some updates and some upgrades there uh, to go along with this. And paint scheme wise, this is a VF one hundred and one. Uh, future videos, I will show you the plane and the the total scheme. I'm undecided as to whether I'm going to keep it. I have trouble seeing red in the sky. It's just one of those things. Uh, I love this plane. Uh, I love what's been done, and I can see where Skymaster has put an incredible amount of time and energy and thought into this model. Um, and it's huge. So stay tuned. I'm looking forward to uh, bringing you more. Uh, welcome thoughts, comments, and for anybody who's going to ask, I'll get ahead of it. No, this will not be flown off of Carrier Field. I I'm afraid that even for my skill set, that's a little too close for comfort for this model. So take care, everyone. Looking forward to hearing from you and like and subscribe. And I'm looking forward to uh, the future. Stay tuned.